If you or someone you love has a life-threatening food allergy, you have to remain constantly vigilant for even the slightest exposure to that food, making even an outing to a restaurant an impossibility for some people. It can be exhausting, particularly with children, and there's no cure for food allergies. However, the FDA recently approved Zolaire for the reduction of allergic reactions to food, and that's the topic of this week's Healthcare Triad. In February of 2024, the FDA approved a new use for the existing drug Zolaire to help reduce food-related allergic reactions in certain adults as well as children over the age of one. Importantly, the drug is not approved for emergency treatment at the time of an allergic reaction, and patients taking Zolaire must still avoid the foods to which they are allergic. So wait, then what's the point? While food allergies won't be eliminated, Repeated use of the drug will help to reduce the risk of life-threatening reactions, like anaphylaxis, if a patient is accidentally exposed to a food allergen. Before now, the only food allergy treatment available was for peanut allergies, and was only approved in patients between 4 and 17 years of age. So the new drug opens up treatment to a lot more people. The drug binds to a type of antibody responsible for allergic reactions, stopping it from binding to its given receptors and wreaking havoc. In a phase three, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial, a significant number of subjects who were allergic to peanuts and at least two other foods were able to tolerate a small dose of peanut protein and other allergens after 16 to 20 weeks of treatment without a moderate to severe allergic reaction. The trial included patients aged one to 56 years across 10 medical centers in the United States. It did not uncover major safety concerns outside of injection site reactions for patients receiving drug compared to those receiving placebo. The drug has been used for a long time for other allergy-related ailments, like asthma, meaning we had a pretty good idea of its safety profile already. And of course, it isn't a perfect solution. Just under 20% of patients could not tolerate peanut protein after treatment, with similar results for other allergens such as cashews, milk, and eggs. In addition, only a small dose of allergen was tested. For example, the peanut protein was the equivalent of about half a teaspoon of peanut butter, meaning the data support that the threshold for an allergic reaction is higher, not that the potential for an allergic reaction is no longer a concern. For these reasons, patients taking Zolar must still try to avoid the foods that trigger the allergic reactions. It can also be difficult to take regularly, which is an absolute must because it can only be administered by injection, and those injections take place every two to four weeks. That's no fun for adults, and it can be a tough sell in children. However, the reduction of constant fear that comes with severe food allergies will likely be worth the trouble for many. It's a little pricey, but between insurance and patient assistance programs, it should be fairly accessible. So cheers to the parents who can breathe a little easier sending their kids to birthday parties or faraway college cafeterias, and to the adults who can relax a little more during a dinner out with friends. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this previous episode on peanut allergies are getting a little nuts. We'd appreciate it if you'd like this video. Subscribe to the channel down below. Go to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help support the show, help us make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz and Edward Lillaholm, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral, Sam.